imagine a late morning on some Wednesday in the mid of summer in, in Persepolis. Um, we have one set of documents where a group of civil servants are preparing a dossier, a file, that is to be on Panaka's desk at two o'clock that afternoon, as it were. Okay, uh, And what they, what Panaka has asked for, the director, is uh, a complete breakdown of the costs of a particular administrative centre close to Persepolis. So they've been pulling this, these files together and then suddenly they go into a panic. And that's because one of the most important documents is missing. You know, one of the, the big financial documents is missing and they think, where can it be? And then they realise that it's in the briefcase, as it were, of one of their colleagues who has left the administration, he's left the job, and he's gone north to media to be with his family. And they realise that he has got this sensitive information with him. He no, no longer works for the government either. So they go into absolute breakdown. And we have all of this recorded as their panic ensues. They write all this down on cuneiform documents and they send it to the next office. They send it up to the middle manager and they say, what are we going to do? And he says, well, you're going to have to face facts. You're just going to have to deal with Panaka. You're going to have to face him and tell him this. And the next thing we have is a document from Panaka, obviously burning with anger, which says to them, find this man, get the document back and bring it to me. And the words he says, when you get him, put him under surveillance by the police. And, and the, the, the phrase which translated literally from the Elamite is his oil, squeeze it from him. In other words, force the truth out of him. Make sure he gives us those documents back. So, you know, like in every situation, bureaucratic bungling was part of the Persian system as well. We really get a sense in these documents of, of, of how this operated. <laughs> 